In a recent speech, former President Donald Trump expressed profound gratitude towards the Teamsters Union, particularly focusing on their groundbreaking decision not to endorse the Democratic candidate for the upcoming 2024 presidential election. This move, he underscored, signifies a critical and historic shift within the union, which has traditionally provided automatic support to Democratic candidates for many decades. Trump framed this change as a watershed moment, marking a departure from a long-standing political allegiance that has characterized the union's history. As Trump began his remarks, he enthusiastically shared his affection for the Teamsters, highlighting their essential role in his previous construction endeavors in New York City. He fondly recounted how the Teamsters were instrumental in delivering materials essential to his projects, such as high-quality concrete and robust, heavy-duty trucks. These anecdotes served not only to underscore his personal connection to the union, but also to celebrate the labor and dedication that the Teamsters represent in the broader context of American industry. Trump emphasized the magnitude of the Teamsters' decision by thanking Sean O'Brien, the current president of the union, describing him as an amazing man and commending his leadership. By highlighting O'Brien's role, Trump sought to acknowledge the importance of strong leadership within unions and how such leadership can influence the direction of collective action. He portrayed O'Brien as a key figure who helped facilitate this unexpected departure from tradition, illustrating a new era of engagement between the Teamsters and Republican ideals. The crux of Trump's argument rested on the notion that the Teamsters' choice not to endorse the Democrats reflects a broader discontent among union members with the current political landscape. He suggested that this decision was not made lightly, but rather through careful consideration of their values and the implications of the candidates' policies on their livelihoods. Trump asserted that the union members recognized that their interests might be better served by aligning with Republican principles, particularly those that emphasize job security, economic growth, and American labor. Throughout his speech, Trump repeatedly invoked the themes of American sovereignty and national pride. He articulated a vision where securing the nation's borders and protecting American jobs are paramount concerns. This rhetoric plays to a growing sentiment among many voters who feel that their economic futures are threatened by globalization and policies perceived to favor foreign interests over domestic ones. By framing these issues in terms of protecting workers, Trump aimed to resonate with blue-collar workers who may feel overlooked by the traditional political establishment. In a notable moment of levity, Trump encouraged the audience to applaud the Teamsters for their contributions and decision, making it clear that had they chosen to endorse the Democrats, he would not have felt inclined to celebrate their work. This statement served multiple purposes. It reinforced the stakes of the political endorsement, showcased his appreciation for the Teamsters, and humorously highlighted the competitive nature of political endorsements in the current landscape. As he concluded his remarks, Trump issued a rallying cry for Republicans, urging his audience to vote for candidates across the board, from local offices to national positions. He emphasized the urgency of this collective action, positioning it as a means of reclaiming the country from what he characterized as the failures of Democratic leadership. This call to action was both a strategic move to galvanize support among his base and a reminder of the power that voters hold in shaping the political landscape. His overarching message revolved around the idea that by uniting under the Republican banner, Americans can forge a path towards revitalizing the nation's economic and social fabric. He painted a picture of a future where American workers are prioritized, jobs are plentiful, and the country's pride is restored. This vision aligns closely with his campaign strategy of appealing to working-class voters, particularly those who may feel marginalized by the political elite. Trump's speech encapsulated a broader narrative about the changing dynamics within labor unions and the political affiliations that shape them. His focus on the Teamsters serves as a case study in how grassroots sentiments can shift, reflecting broader trends among American workers who are increasingly seeking representation that aligns with their interests, especially in a rapidly changing economic landscape. In essence, the speech was not merely a celebration of the Teamsters' decision, but also an astute political maneuver designed to mobilize support for the Republican Party as the 2024 election approaches. The themes of patriotism, economic nationalism, and a strong call for active political participation resonated throughout his remarks, reinforcing his long-standing message of reclaiming American pride and labor. By weaving personal anecdotes with broader political themes, Trump sought to inspire a sense of collective purpose among his audience, positioning them as integral to the future of the nation. In conclusion, Former President Donald Trump's recent address celebrating the Teamsters Union's decision not to endorse the Democratic candidate for the 2024 presidential election encapsulates significant themes that are pivotal within the contemporary political landscape of the United States. This speech not only marks a notable shift in union politics, but also serves as a strategic appeal to a demographic that has historically been a cornerstone of the Democratic Party, the blue-collar worker. The Teamsters' decision to refrain from endorsing the Democratic candidate is emblematic of a broader reassessment among union members regarding their political loyalties. For decades, unions like the Teamsters have automatically supported Democratic candidates, driven by a historical alignment on labor rights and workers' issues. However, this recent decision reflects a growing sentiment among members who feel that their concerns are no longer adequately addressed by the Democratic Party. Instead, they are increasingly recognizing the value of aligning with Republican principles that emphasize job creation, national sovereignty, and the protection of American workers. One of the key takeaways from Trump's address is the profound significance of labor unions in shaping the political landscape. 
The Teamsters' choice to break from tradition indicates a potential realignment that could have far-reaching implications for the 2024 election and beyond. By highlighting this shift, Trump is not only reinforcing his position as a champion of American labor, but also signaling to other unions that their voices matter and that the Republican Party is willing to listen to their concerns. Trump's personal connection to the Teamsters, illustrated through anecdotes about his construction projects in New York, serves to humanize his message and establish a rapport with his audience. By reminiscing about the Teamsters' role in his success, he emphasizes the importance of their labor and contributions to American industry. This personal touch is crucial in politics, as it fosters a sense of trust and relatability, positioning him as someone who understands and values the hard work of union members. The acknowledgement of Sean O'Brien, the president of the Teamsters, further enhances the significance of strong leadership within labor unions. Trump's praise for O'Brien reflects an understanding of the internal dynamics of union politics and the critical role that effective leaders play in guiding their members toward meaningful decisions. By aligning himself with O'Brien and the rank-and-file members, Trump positions the Republican Party as an ally of workers, ready to engage with unions in a constructive and supportive manner. This contrasts sharply with perceptions that the Republican Party has historically been antagonistic toward organized labor. Another vital aspect of Trump's address is his call for unity among Republicans. By urging his supporters to vote for Republican candidates at every level of government, he emphasizes the necessity of collective action in reclaiming the nation from what he perceives as the failures of democratic leadership. This call to action serves as a rallying cry for his base, reinforcing the notion that every vote counts and that unity among Republicans is essential for achieving electoral success. By framing the 2024 election as a pivotal moment for the future of the country, Trump fosters a sense of urgency and responsibility among his supporters, motivating them to take an active role in the political process. Furthermore, Trump's speech highlights the extraordinary power of grassroots movements in shaping political outcomes. The Teamsters' decision to diverge from their historical political affiliations reflects a broader sentiment among working-class voters who are seeking genuine representation that aligns with their experiences and values. This trend signals an opportunity for the Republican Party to connect with a demographic that has often felt overlooked by the political establishment. By harnessing this momentum and articulating a vision that resonates with the aspirations of blue-collar workers, the Republican Party can position itself as the party of the working class. In addition to these themes, Trump's emphasis on national pride and economic sovereignty resonates deeply with many voters who are concerned about globalization and its impact on American jobs. By advocating for policies that prioritize American workers and industries, Trump taps into a growing anxiety about economic displacement and the perceived failures of previous administrations to protect domestic jobs. This rhetoric is particularly appealing to voters and industries that have been adversely affected by international competition, as it speaks directly to their fears and desires for a more secure economic future. Moreover, the address serves as a clear indication of the evolving dynamics within labor politics and the potential for significant electoral shifts. As unions reassess their political affiliations and alignments, the landscape of American politics may change dramatically. The decision by the Teamsters is not an isolated incident. It represents a broader trend that could influence other unions and working-class voters across the country. As more unions begin to consider the implications of their endorsements, the Republican Party may find itself in a position to attract new support from demographics that have traditionally leaned Democratic. Trump's speech also underscores the importance of narrative in political discourse. By framing the Teamsters' decision as a courageous act of independence, he constructs a narrative that elevates the voices of working-class Americans. This narrative is powerful, as it positions union members as active participants in their political destiny rather than passive recipients of party loyalty. By embracing this narrative, Trump not only strengthens his own political position, but also empowers voters to take ownership of their choices and advocate for their interests. In summary, Trump's address to the Teamsters Union serves as a significant moment in the ongoing dialogue about labor, politics, and the future of the Republican Party. His celebration of the Teamsters' decision reflects a potential realignment within union politics that could reshape the electoral landscape in 2024 and beyond. By emphasizing the importance of American labor, strong leadership, and unity among Republicans, Trump positions himself and the Republican Party as champions of working class interests. As the 2024 election approaches, the implications of this shift in union allegiance could be profound, signaling a new era in which the voices of blue collar workers are recognized and valued in the political arena. For both voters and political analysts, Trump's speech serves as a clear indication of the evolving dynamics within American labor, highlighting the increasing importance of engaging meaningfully with the concerns and aspirations of the workforce. Ultimately, the themes articulated in his remarks underscore a broader dialogue about the future of work, the role of labor in American society, and the ongoing quest for a political framework that genuinely addresses the needs of the nation's workers. By interweaving personal anecdotes with broader political themes, Trump successfully conveys a message of empowerment and national pride, inviting voters to join him in reclaiming their voice in the American political landscape.